All right. Yeah, our third and final sequel. Yeah, is mine. Um, like I said, I, I I had trouble finding sequels, and I was toying with the idea of doing Predator Two. Yeah. And then I watched it, and then I realized <laughs> <laughs> that it's it's it's. Um, I had fond memories of that movie because yeah. I really, really like Predator 1. I think oh, yeah, it's a yeah. genius the, the, movie. Nobody's going to argue with that yeah. one. Nobody's gonna uh, argue. And I, I, I remember the second one being interesting because it was set in then in, in the future, yeah. like five years into the future. It was like 1997. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was so bad. It, all, everything had gone to shit. All the, the production values, the acting, the, the scripts, oh, wow. everything. I don't think I saw Predator 2, actually. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. yeah. yeah it's, not, it's, it's not worth it. But, but it, is, it is in terms of if you want to see a really bad Predator movie. We're in a war zone, Dave. And I thought, I thought the Aliens vs. Predator movies were bad. But, yeah. But, but, yeah. but, but I, I thought that this was... It was just... Very 90s and very, very uh, low. I have really good memories of yeah. that movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that you should see it again if you want Probably to preserve not, yeah. those memories. Because yeah, it's a shame that some things really don't stand the test of time. No. Yeah. Remember Arthur? Yeah, the comedy came, Dudley Moore came out yeah. in like 1980. Mm -hmm. God, I thought that was the funniest thing I had ever seen. Boy, everybody thought it was my family. Yeah. Oh, gosh, this is the funniest movie ever. And I saw it again. I had a girlfriend in like 2003, and she was really sick. So I mm -hmm. thought I'd cheer her up by getting some comedy movies. And we put on Arthur, and... There was not one single thing that was funny in it. I'm like, this is so stupid. Would the more attractive of you please step forward? <laughs> it's gonna cost you $100. Let's make it $200, but I will ask you to simonize my car. <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. So if you have fond memories of Arthur and Predator yeah, 2, yeah, yeah. keep those, keep those, keep those memories to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because it actually started me thinking, because there's a lot of stuff in my, in my shelves that I haven't seen in a long time, and I, I, I started thinking, do I really want to watch some of these films again? Yeah. Because I have fond memories of them. Well, going on to the one that I actually yeah. did pick, <laughs> yeah, sure. was, because um, this has been a very, very troubled franchise, uh, in a lot of ways, because it started off with a, a classic, and it you haven't up told with, people what it is yet. Yeah, you? yeah, but they'll okay. know. Okay. And then the second one is a classic in its own right, but it's a very different movie. So it's not Star Wars. We're not talking <laughs> about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and then it started to go very in various degrees downhill from that. Yeah. So it's the Alien franchise, mm -hmm. and I I love the Alien movie, and the I love Alien. The, the, first, the first first one is absolutely magnificent. The second one's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, yeah. I like them uh, both. I'm yeah. with you there. Totally yeah, with and, you there. And, and, it's also interesting that they switch genres because the first one is a horror movie and the second one is a war movie, basically. Yeah, yeah. And, they're, and they're both really good in that. Um, and the third one, I think, is quite, quite interesting, although the, the director, whom I have great appreciation for, who is David Fincher, yeah. completely wanted to distance himself mm. from the movie because yeah. he thinks that it's... it's it is. It doesn't live up to his very, very high standards. He's a damn good director. Yeah, yeah. 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 All of the stuff that I, I, I really like Fincher's. All of the stuff that he does, and I, I think that I have a higher opinion about Alien Three than he does himself. Mm. Um, but the one I picked was Alien Four because okay. I'm also a huge fra fan of Jean-Pierre Jeunet, who directed yeah. Amelie and and, oh, yeah, yeah, and, sure, yeah. and 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 very long they did good engagement. People. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, and he got drafted into doing Alien 4, and it's a very strange beast. There's, because um, for those of you who don't know, um, it happens 200 years after Alien yeah. 3. And they've cloned Ripley. Yeah. And they make fun of her because you know you're not even you're not even a real person and stuff like that because yeah. it's a clone. How does yeah. it feel? How did it feel knowing yeah. that you know that you're not a person? You know, yeah. you're less than a person, which is bullshit. Yeah, and I think that one of the reasons because because after after number three, um, Sigourney Weaver herself said that she doesn't want to do anymore because Ripley's dead. Yeah. Ripley died. Yeah. 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 yeah, And then they got her interested in this be mainly because she gets to play a Ripley who isn't. Ripley. She's yeah. she's she's completely different. She's mm. a sort of a beast and a yeah. hybrid of an alien and a human and yeah, and, cool. and, mm. and and an, and an aggressive, much more aggressive than she's yeah. in the pr previous films and, and more amoral. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a lot more amoral. And then there's this also. What I love like about the movie is that that it 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 has this very curious European sensibility to it, where it tries to make the audience sort of second guess the nature of the alien itself. 
Now, uh, most of the movies which have alien aliens in them have has the alien works as a really good bad guy. Yeah, yeah, sure. It, uh, but sympathetic, you know. It, you like it. Yeah, 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 because they're they're beasts. They're just animals who are trying to so, sort of survive. Yeah, and then. And, but, but you love to hate them. You don't really have, in that way, you don't have sympathy for them. That they, you, they are so well crafted that they have this. They, I it's mean, the audience, really. the, yeah, yeah, the audience thinks that they have to be destroyed in yeah. a way. Mm. But in Alien yeah. Four, the the director sort of tries to subvert that by creating this alien human hybrid that, mm. that right. is yeah. that is made in a sort of more sympathetic way or attempted to make in a more sympathetic way. The problem with that time was that that CGI was just coming out. Yeah. And it was the first alien movie that had completely CGI made aliens. I didn't know that. Yeah, cuz you, if you if you see them from afar when they move in the in the ship and stuff like yeah. that, you can you can spot the bad CGI. Okay. They're, they're yeah. sort of they they're a bit too shiny and they move a bit too they have this computer all right okay yeah mm -hmm. uh, sort of um they're too perfect in right. a way mm -hmm. uh, in the movement and and the problem with the with the final um final alien human hybrid is also that it's partly cgi and it's partly practical and it sort of fails in a lot of the ways because it's 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 a really it's really hard to make the Giger alien and fuse it to a human right. and then try yeah. to make that into a working hole. Yeah. It, 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 doesn't, it okay. doesn't completely work. You have sympathy, you have I, or at least I had much more sympathy for the human-alien hybrid than... No, than, totally, yeah. Than, than, than the scientists. Yeah. Who liked the scientists and the, yeah. the, the people that... You're like, yeah. these guys are douches. Yeah. And they, maybe they're supposed to be douches, but yeah. Yeah. So are you talking about the the like the end alien? Yeah, yeah, the the, the final <laughs> hybrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, fun. that's that, that's the that's one of the reasons I think that a lot of people don't like the sequel because the the end alien doesn't work. It, it it's supposed to work in a way that creates sympathy much more, but it it All tends right. uh, it tends to be well. You tell me what you thought about it. Well, yeah, it's, it's first of all the first thing that I was paying attention to was the the, the alien this you know the alien hybrid thing has two expressions one is like <laughs> and yeah. the other is <laughs> so it's like <laughs> and angry yeah and it's sort of it gets sort of funny because it does it, it repeats that formula yeah. Yeah. again and again it's sort of it's, it's a good it's, thing it recognizes who its real mom <laughs> yeah because <laughs> that, yeah. that could have ended the movie right there if it went the other way around <laughs> yeah and then it's disappointed at the mom when the mom puts the hatch open and the alien is like going into space and it looks at the mom like mm, yeah. and Ripley is like, I'm sorry. So it has this sort of element of, you know, absurd but humor Jeffrey Dahmer's into parents it. probably love Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, true, right? True, I, well, yeah. Actually, maybe not. Maybe that's why he became Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that could have gone either way. They should have faked it better. Yeah. Fake love is almost as good as the real thing. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, I think if there's one thing people take away from today, it's that fake love <laughs> is almost as good as the real thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like diet soda. It's not the real thing. But, but how, do, how did you react to the to the uh, the, the final alien? I, you know, I I'm really I've always been really good at suspending disbelief. Now I know we talked about the Riddick stuff about things that were ridiculous and overblown. Mm. But it, I'm I'm a really good movie audience because yeah. I I totally buy the fan into the fantasy mm. and stuff. I don't usually go, oh that's so fake or oh that looks shitty. I'm like, oh huh? oh yeah okay cool. Oh what a shame uh, the child your hell spawn child dies and, I, yeah. and you feel sympathy for it. I'm like, okay, I, I totally buy into that. I didn't think it was cheesy. I didn't think it was, it was silly. I didn't, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't either. I, I, and I think that I, at first viewing, when I, when I watched it back, uh, way back in 94 or yeah. whatever. Or Whenever it came out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back then, I sort of, I remember feeling more sympathy for it because it wasn't hammy at that time because CGI was, it was, yeah, it, was the big, cool, yeah. it was the big new thing, and now that it's so well made, you again, 
<laughs> you, you spoil those memories. But I still have that feeling in the end. I, I feel sad for the alien yeah, totally, pilot. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel sad for it, and even though it's ridiculous, mm. and even though the even though the movie in that way doesn't make much much sense. Also, one of the things about Alien Four is that it creates sympathy for a lot of it, for a lot of things that that you feel, or at, l at least I felt uncomfortable with, like the the. The moment when uh, Ripley torches all her clones yeah, yeah. in the in the lab, yeah. and they're all these deformed, really mm. beasts, yeah. and then there's this one, especially horrible one, because it's it's so close to her and yet completely, mm. yeah. completely unnatural, and then it begs her. They can fortunately to, speak. Yeah, yeah, fortunately tell the the. And is that yeah. the first time that phrase? Kill me. <laughs> has been used anywhere in like movies or series I, I or like not. Yeah. I think not. I think no. the Island of Dr. Moreau had that. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know if yeah, they yeah, said yeah. it, but, um, no. yeah. but and of course you know South Park's yeah. no. really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill me. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. You know, it's funny that it's it is nice to think that the alien. As the movie's gone, each movie does have a different character. I, Alien Three seems to get lost to me, and it, and because it's it's not as interesting as the other three. It isn't, you know. The first one mm. is so good, such a slow burn, mm. and I really I want to see an Alien with a slow burn, but they're never yeah. going to do that again because mm. be, you know, yeah. people want bang yeah. bang yeah. boom. So. Yeah. And I like that the second one is not called Alien Two; it's mm. called Aliens. Yeah. You know, that's good. You know. And then Rambo 3. <laughs> Not First Blood Part 3, Rambo 2. Just Rambo 3. I'll do like First Blood, Rambo 2, and Rambo th 3. That's... Yeah. Yeah. The, I think that... Um, I think there's, there's a lot of things that don't work with Alien Resurrection. It's... it's um, it has... The un, it has a couple of unfortunate things. First of all, Jeanne... Ne, brought with him a couple of actors that he'd worked with before, mostly in French speaking oh, yeah. films, like yeah. the, the the mechanic who is tied to a wheelchair. Mm. Yeah, sure. And he can't really act in English. No, the problem it's is funny how that he, works. Yeah. Um, and then Are you just saying that because he's disabled? <laughs> yes. No, yes. Indeed, and it's a, a character. <laughs> the actor himself is not disabled. He's acting. But what's the difference, really, when, yeah. when it comes down to it? Um, and then there's um, and there's people that, there that he'd worked before with before and who made who've made really good roles or at least interesting roles. It's Ron Perlman is in mm. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, he's uh, done so Michael, many good Michael stuff. Wincott is in yeah. it, mm. and Dan Hedaya. <laughs> who who's, who's Dan Hedaya? Uh, Dan Hedaya is the guy who's who who did a lot of movies. This kind of really short, uh, weird-looking Italian guy who, in the in Alien Aliens Resurrection, he plays the the commander of the of the oh, of the whole okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he's also in the usual suspects as, yeah. as one of the cops yeah. um, yeah. and he he was the some kind of guy that you saw in the 90s in, in a lot of movies and then he just completely disappeared um, but yeah there's, so there's interesting people there but the chemistry doesn't quite work